we create CO2 absorbing concrete and other similar technologies for construction. We use a special minerals from nature that actually give concrete the ability to attract CO2 like a magnet into the concrete and then permanently store it inside there. So it's actually using what nature has provided for us to store CO2 into the concrete that we drive on, on our roads, buildings, bridges, and our homes. Hi, I'm Tim Sperry, founder and CEO of Carbon Limit. We're really unique because other companies like us provide materials. We're actually licensing our formula, giving the formula to cement and concrete producers, and then we manage the carbon credit generation process and quantify how much CO2 is being captured. This is an example of some of the uh, samples that we'll do here, where we're actually making these two inch by two inch cubes made with our capture crete and the cement design mix. And then we're testing for performance to see how much pressure it takes to break these, as well as how much CO2 can be captured. Cement and concrete together are responsible for about 8% of global CO2 emissions. The other problem that we're solving is actually the CO2 that's already in our environment. So our technology allows us to reduce the carbon footprint associated with concrete, and then it gives concrete the ability to pull the CO2 that's already in the air into the concrete and store it there. With this technology and finding great partnerships with large cement and concrete companies, we can effectively scale our technology globally to help other countries, other companies, other projects made with concrete capture more CO2 and help us reach that goal. Every time our technology is used into concrete, it can generate a carbon credit. So we're effectively generating carbon credits uh, from mining CO2 from the air. When I was younger, I lost two of my really close family members uh, due to someone else polluting their air. And ever since then, I've wanted to find a solution to air pollution. It kind of shifted my thinking from being an entrepreneur for looking at what can I make the most money doing and then how can I like it enough to keep doing it to what do I really love doing? Our main focus is really developing and commercializing sustainable technologies for the built environment. We're looking to find these sustainable solutions that will help protect uh, and decarbonize you know, these hard to abate industries and also protect the environment and hopefully improve and, and do good in the environment from an impact perspective. And really this is to help solve and hopefully stop and reverse climate change.